Over the past few weeks, you guys have been absolutely asking me to show you guys how to do my graphics. So today I'm going to show you. Let's go, y'all. Now, before we really get into it, I want to say thank you guys for all the love and all the support on the videos, especially um, recently. I've been have been going through some stuff and views have been down a little bit, but we're going to pick them back up. I want to say thank you guys. And I want to also remind you guys, if you guys like this tutorial, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I post. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, hopefully you guys can get your graphics looking a little bit like mine. There's going to be three things that are going to be necessary for this mod. You're going to first need to get NVE from Raze. I don't currently have his subscription anymore because I don't have his subscription anymore because it doesn't make any sense me paying for it all the time. So I pay for it for a month use that month's one and then i skip probably the next one or two months and then i pay for it again so right now i don't have his his nve from june this month i think i think the last one i got was april and that's what i'm gonna be using in this tutorial if, if it was not april it's probably the one from from may and then i'm not paying for june okay um i do have the latest of quant mods though if you guys can see on there my patreon you guys can see that i'm a paid member um you guys can go ahead and get quant 5 from here um i don't remember the membership uh how much it is but i have the membership i think it's tier 3 10 dollars a month i have that so you guys need quant v you're gonna need nve and then the last one you're gonna need is to get open iv from lspdfrmods.com their website is down it's been down because of the whole you know situation over there in europe so you guys can go ahead and get open iv from this website from lspdfrmods.com search it up um, open iv and archive mirror and you can install open iv on your pc that is the three things that you need once you've done that i'm gonna assume you guys know how to install open iv you guys go ahead install open iv and i'll bring you guys back once i get down to the body all right so because i have the older um nve i'm gonna go ahead and my nve is in a folder here separately i have the quant v one once you download quant v is gonna be on discord or like right here i can have access to it you can download the main one and you click the 5m package it's going to take you to a website which is going to tell you to download the base base mod first and then download the other one so make sure you guys go ahead and do that so we're going to first apply the nve to our game what you're going to need to do is go into your 5m application data you can right click on your 5m press open file location and then you'll find your 5m application data once you go over to your 5m app application data the two folders you're going to need is going to be mods and plugins these are the only two you guys are going to need for this tutorial so don't worry about any other files outside of that once we start there we're going to go to nve you're going to go to main package you're going to see mods we're going to deal with the mods first now you're going to take everything in here and copy this over into the mods folder okay you're copying everything over into the mods folder the next thing you're going to do you're going to go back on your 5m application data you're going to go to plugins you're going to go to plugins on your nve uh folder and you're going to take that nve.asi you're going to put that into your 5m application data if you guys can see it right here it's right in here okay you're going to go back out on both folders that's only the main package for nve now i personally don't use reshade so i'm not going to be installing reshade okay you're going to go to the optional add-ons you're going to go through all of the optional add-ons that you want and go to the file where are go to the path where it tells you to install it to so i'm gonna give you guys an example brighter emergency lights you can go for whatever your intensity is i'm actually going to be bringing down my intensity because my intensity is really really high in game so you're gonna go to i'm gonna use medium this time so you take your brighter emergency lights and this goes into your mod folder so you're gonna just drag it and drop it in there i'm gonna replace my one in there because my lights are really really bright especially at night and then um i'm gonna put that in there and make sure that you guys um you guys replace that or you put it in there and that goes into the mods folder same thing with animated gas stations and atm you put that in the mods folder 
if it goes into another file it will tell you that it's going into another file um i usually don't worry about some of the other stuff like the sandstorm weather effect um sometimes i think that 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 kind of blocks my vision a lot so especially if i'm chasing suspects in sandy and really and truly i don't really believe that you should be using that so if you guys want to go just go ahead and scan through and just take all the optionals that you see from in here and you copy it just like mine and put mine in the ones that you see from me in there then that's completely fine with you you guys can go ahead and do that these two do not worry about these two these are 5m resources unless you're a 5m server owner you don't need to use any of these same thing with these ones um i don't use any of these so it doesn't i i you don't don't put them in um it's just gonna do unnecessary stuff to your game just like that we're done with nve nve is completely finished i as i said i do not use reshade so you don't have to worry about reshade the next thing we're gonna work on we're gonna work on quant v now we're gonna use renoir to open up the quant v file and with the quant v file we're gonna go ahead and go to the install 5m app so the first thing you're going to is the base mod you want to go into the base mod folder first. Now, when I go into the ba base mod folders first, I'm going to go into the files. You're going to go to 5m.applicationdata folder. You're going to go to mods and you're going to take this, drag and drop this into the mods folder. Just like that. Okay. Now you drag and drop it into there. You're done with the base, with that part of the base mod. You're going to go back out on the the base mod folder in Rainwater. then you're going to go to optional optional preset now the first one is going to be that i usually use is going to be brighter emergency lights i go into the brighter emergency lights and i take the very bright lights and i put and i drag and drop those into the mods folder okay once you guys have done that you can you can use this one um this is the hot fits for a service that overwrites video settings.oiv and that goes into your open iv which we'll get to that later i'm gonna show you guys how to do that later and you can go through all of these optionals and remember to only install the ones that you want you don't have to install everything um even on here it tells you whether it's gonna be a performance drop or not and i don't like to add all of these things that can hurt my performance i don't do anything that necessarily hurts my performance so um you guys can go ahead and choose which ones you want to add etc etc i'm gonna go back out now and we're gonna go into the actual quant v package the one the one that has all of the other mods okay you can go to install 5m app plugins now we we gotta install this into the plugins folder so you're going to go back on the application data and then go to the plugins folder. Now we're going to take all of these, copy and paste them into the plugins folder of your 5M application data. Okay. Once you guys do that, you can go back out now. And the next thing we're going to use is OpenIV. We are completely done with the 5M application data folder. We're going to use OpenIV now. Now for OpenIV, the first thing you're going to need to do is install the EMB. And that is going to be this folder here, the QV3 5m emb.oav file all you need to do is drag make sure your 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 uh, open iv is on edit mode you're gonna drag and drop this into there i'm not gonna install it because it's gonna mess up with my in-game settings and i gotta show you guys how my in-game settings are i did a pre-setup with this in order for have to have my stream last night and now i'm doing this for you guys now so you guys can see once you install the oh, um the enb right and you install the 5m application the plugins that's basically done your your thing is done but i'm gonna just show you guys real quick a few optionals that i actually add into my game the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go to the quality plus uh the quality slash the performance slash quality preset now the performance slash quality presets this is something that for your emb if you have a great pc 3080 a 4080 4090 etc you guys can risk it and go up to emb ultra or emb ultra i mean hyper i personally use very high settings and if i was finding any lagging issues i would use high settings for the majority of persons you can use very high settings I don't mess with reshade. I don't have any experience with reshade, so I never use reshade. Okay. Now that's done. Now we're going to go up until the optional presets. You go up to the optional presets. You can go to the visual presets. I personally use brighter nights. All you need to do is grab this, drag it and drop it onto the thing. Now, if you guys saw just now, I try to drag this over and you saw this red circle with the thing going between it. 
for it to be able to, to get rid of that and it, it you're gonna have to do this every time you just click on the top of the quant v folder and then you you can do it again okay now they have quant v does an amazing thing and they have a way for you to just click on these HTMLs. i think it's what you call it and then you can see the difference in between the two i'm trying to use the brighter night so that you guys can see in game so i'm just gonna reinstall that real quick personally i i might this doesn't break my game so i put it directly into my game folder it doesn't break my game so um if you guys want to try doing that you can do that but if it breaks your game install it to the mods folder okay and the same thing happens for each and every one of these this one is an oiv file this was over oiv as well anything you see that says oiv you can go ahead and install this in using open iv that's an open iv file and you can go ahead and use this HTMLs to see what the difference is between each one, which each one it is. And then you can choose how you want to configure your game. And I go and I went through and I figured this out. I've been trying to get this one to work personally, and I can't necessarily uh, figure out why it's not working. I'm going to try it one more time. Maybe I need to install it into the mods folder this time, which I'll, I'll try that now and see if this works in game but i tried it and it didn't work last night so i'm gonna try something else now and see how this goes but for the uh, the rest of the mods i usually just put it straight into the game folder and it works like this one i put this into the, my game folder and it worked there's a there's a 5m application data it will tell you where, where it's supposed to go 5m app means your 5m application data folder okay and you just take that you drag and drop it into your 5m application data folder the same thing you can also have these quant v clouds and beta and stuff like that you can also drag this one and drop those into your game and it should help okay and those are it for the optionals once you have configured what it is that you want to put in we can then head into game and do some configuration on the settings i'll see you guys when i get in game. all right guys so now we are in game you guys can see how the graphics look um, this is after I've done everything. Um, I didn't necessarily want to show you guys. Um, like, I didn't want to mess up my settings. Um, the ones that I just redid on my own. So, I decided I'm just going to show you guys what my settings are for the EMB and how to get there. So, the first thing to get the EMB up, you guys are going to need to press uh, your shift enter key. Press them together and the menu will pop up. Okay. Once the menu pop up, the first thing that I do is that I limit my FPS to 60 FPS. GTA doesn't necessarily need more than 60 FPS, um, so I use 60 FPS and I lock it there. Um, these already come enabled. I don't touch any of these personally, but there are certain things in here that you can mess with. For example, my vehicle, I usually, um, I usually increase my emitter intensity. Let's take that up a notch, and that kind of helps with like the lights and how they look they look nice and vibrant etc etc i usually use this a little bit if you want to turn up your metallic a little bit too on the how the paint looks on the vehicle you can but there's not a, an insane difference uh with it the main thing that you guys are going to need to change though is when you go up to emb effect i'm trying to find a best a best canvas for you guys to see when you go up to your EMB effect, I usually make sure that the technique is on EMB series. And then I scroll down until I see bright day, contrast day, gamma day, saturation day, bright night, contrast night, gamma night, and saturation night. So all of these by default are either on one or zero. For bright day, I usually put it at one. If I don't want to do that, I will probably do it at 0 0.9, somewhere around there for it the gamma or for the contrast it usually i usually have a higher contrast for the day just to give it nice a nice like the shadows and nice like kind of what's the word a shadowy feeling um as for gamma day i usually put it at 1.3 um saturation day i usually have it highly saturated so that's why i have the saturation at one at 1.8 i might even turn it up to two but we'll see how things go um for nights i usually turn down the brightness a little bit for the night so 0 0.9 um contrast 0 0.8 contrast is super good at night 
um the gamma i'm probably gonna turn up my gamma actually for nighttime and see how that looks and then saturation for night is not as saturated so i'm gonna just change um how everything looks in the server until for uh, to show you guys a little bit between the days and the nights and i don't think my graphics now look as good as they did before but um i'm gonna get it up there i'm gonna tweak a few things over time and tell you guys what it is you guys could stay tuned to my videos and my streams so you guys can see this so i'm gonna change it to midnight and if you guys can look around and see like it looks pretty good if i'm being completely honest right look at the reflections on the car bro like look at all of this and then you got the lights on here and then i'm gonna show you guys the lights so now the way how how bright that is depends on the 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 bright lights that you put in so whether you want them to be super bright you can either put very bright lights or you can put um bright lights for quant v for nve same thing if you want high intensity put it on high intensity if you want medium intensity put it on medium intensity you can, can go ahead and play around with ho however you want it um, to see. So you can see which one is good for you. This is pretty much good for me. And this is why I choose these settings. And this is a nice little tutorial into my, my graphic settings. If you guys enjoyed this video. And if let me know what you guys think about your graphics. If you guys want, you guys can go ahead and post photos of what your graphics look like in DVRP Fan Discord. Or in my Discord. I'll look at them and... Uh, give you a rating anyways thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time have a great day and have a great week remember to go after all you guys goals in your dreams and i hope that this tutorial helps you on doing your game anyways thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time peace y'all